Okay, now we're on question nine. Um, the probability scale shows the probability that the spinner will land on red. It also shows the probability that the spinner will land on blue. Tony says that the spinner is more likely to land on blue than on red. Is he right? Explain your answer. Well, this is blue. This is red. And he's not right. So the answer is no. But you have to justify your answer. You won't just get him out for saying no. Um, and your answer can vary. You can turn around and say because uh, red is closer to one. That answer will do. Um, or blue has less than, has less than uh, half a chance because it's closer to zero. A one in two chance. Okay, dokie. And that's it. But you must give it a reason. Looking down at B, it says there are three white counters and four black counters in a box. Jenny's going to take a random counter from the box, write down the probability that Jenny will take a black counter. Okay. So, uh, let's get a pen on. How many black counters have we got? Four. Right? So this does come up as... Oh, I've lost my pen. Four. Place where you can make out. This is four out of one, two, three, seven. There's seven counters in total. This is the only way to get the answer for this. You can't do it as a percentage. So you must have four um, black counters over seven, the total number of counters at the bottom. Write down the probability that Jen will take a yellow counter. Well, there are no yellows, so the answer to that is zero. And that is question nine done.